Hello everybody else. When you install this ZAM control panel, so when you, in, you install this on your computer, so it creates a folder called ZAM in your local computer. Just go to your uh, computer and local disk C if you are using Windows or you can uh, find similar things in your other uh, operating systems but I'm using uh, Windows so I will go to C drive and there I can find a folder called ZAIM this folder is basically created after I installed this software I mean the ZAIM so all of our files are inside the ZAIM folder because this is basically a local root for our computer or you can say a local host so whatever file files we will be creating in this project or in this course will all be saved inside the ZAIM folder so you need to click this ZAIM folder and find a folder called htdocs this htdocs folder is basically our main directory main root directory which we can access through localhost URL in the browser so just double click it inside this folder I mean this htdocs folder whatever file or uh, folder we save we can access that using the localhost variable uh, URL uh, from our browser so simply we will create a, uh, a folder inside the htdocs and we will save all of our files inside that folder so that will be our project folder basically because uh, we cannot save the files or the folders outside this folder because we are using a server-side scripting language PHP which is very important I mean the local host is very important to run PHP codes and to execute PHP codes so therefore all of our files we will be saving inside this folder so how you can access this local host basically that you have uh, installed the ZAM software and it has created this ZAM folder you just simply need to go to your browser and type there local host very simple local host and enter so you will see this ZAM for Windows this is the whole software that we have installed uh, and we I told you to download from here and then after installing you can access it through localhost just try localhost and after localhost backslash whatever you write you will access that for example uh, this is the folder I mean the htdocs folder so there are many uh, folders default folders but I have created one folder called testing which I can just uh, call from here and I simply can write it after the localhost backslash then testing so when I click so you can see this website that we are actually going to create in this course so this is the te uh, testing version of this project basically so we can access any folder we have inside the htdocs any folder or any file we can access that directly using our browser and I have just written testing so it is in front of you and if you have any other folder or a file you can uh, access that as well but now the time is to create or uh, you know or project folder or here inside the htdocs very simply create uh, click new folder name it e commerce e commerce that's very simple name so we are creating e commerce now you can create files and folders more folders and more files inside this folder i mean this is the main folder for our project the root folder basically it is called so i will double click it inside it this is empty there is nothing but we can create more folders over here and files over here so basically when you are creating a mega project or a uh, you know a big project so you actually create all the folders uh, for that project in the starting so you can avoid uh, misunderstanding and errors or any other things uh, later on so therefore we will create all the folders right now inside this main folder e-commerce that we have just created so click new folder one folder we will create for admin underscore area this means all the files and folders related to admin area will be saved in this folder click new folder and I will name it images again one more folder functions 
one more folders includes one more folder styles and uh, one more folder is will be something like uh, admin area functions images js so these are some formal folders i mean common folders which mostly we create for a web project or website or something like that so we will create more folders whenever necessary but for now these six folders are enough so we will be saving our functions file inside this functions folder images inside the images includes inside the includes js and styles inside the in styles and also this admin area one more folder we need is customer okay customer is a folder where we will be uh, actually uh, you know saving all the files and folders associated with the customers basically so we have created this all now in uh, next video we will create the whole the index page for this project and we will start work on that so we can actually uh, first of all we will uh, create this website layout we will have to create this website layout for this whole project so we now have basically just created the folders for this project and next video we will create the index main page for this project stay tuned thank you